A rare illness in children linked to coronavirus is hitting North Carolina for the first time. Two wants to know's Ben Briscoe is here to give you the facts, not fear. Across the country, nearly 200 children are suspected of having the mysterious illness called multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. And now our state health department says you can add North Carolina to that map. Symptoms include fever, rash, abdominal pain, and vomiting, thought to be brought on after the child is exposed to coronavirus. But beyond that, there are still a lot of unknowns, in part because doctors who treated kids elsewhere, like Sam Dominguez, say this illness is just so rare. It's a very rare disease, um, and we're working very hard at hospitals around the country to think about this and our best approach to caring for these children. It hit so quick. It was like one minute he was fine and the next minute it's like he woke up with this weird strange fever. Sarah Garcia from Colorado says her son Nolan's health went downhill fast earlier this month. At one point his fever almost reached 105 degrees. It wasn't typical what you're thinking COVID symptoms. It wasn't a cough. He was not having a hard time breathing. Nolan fully recovered as most children have with the illness but just know it's another abnormal thing we need to watch out for in very strange times already. Ben Briscoe, two wants to know. Again, right now, the state health department says there has only been one confirmed case here in North Carolina, but they are asking doctors to monitor patients and report any children with symptoms.